Hi, I'm Scott Indrasek with Art Info and Modern Painters. We're here at Postmasters Gallery in New York with Ryder Rips at his show, Ho. Uh, Ryder, can you tell us, I guess the basic question would be, who are we looking at in all of these paintings? It's the same uh, model, I guess, that you found on Instagram initially. Can you tell us a bit about her and what drew sure. you to her? So uh, Adrienne Ho is the model in the paintings. Um, she works for Nike and Supreme, among other brands. And uh, she has a very consistent sort of look to her photos, which is a uh, simulation of reality um, and extremely overt uh, expression of the Instagram filter and the use of light. Uh, and I feel that her photos are uh, sort of the quintessence of, of, this, uh, of this type of aesthetic. The, the paintings together are supposed to tell a story of sorts and uh, be a depiction of, of a single individual um, as well as a representation of uh, something greater. What sort of characteristics of the way she poses on Instagram would you say made you interested in working with those images? Mm -hmm. uh, she has this very thought out uh, way of, of replicating reality. Um, so a lot of these shots are uh, in mid-jog or they're, they're in mid-action of some sort, some, some action that is, that is very everyday and commonplace. Very much these, these shots that are not studio shots, they're on the street or in, in a setting that, that would, uh, you would normally find a human being. Um, and they paint a picture uh, of, of, of someone's life, of, of their activities, of who they are and what they like to do. But they're very much contrived and controlled and thought out and planned. And so to me, there's a lot of interesting uh, tension and uh, the planning and the meticulous nature that goes into uh, creating a persona online actually is more of an overt expression of what we all do every day. Whether we're a model on Instagram or whether we're just a regular person, we're deciding how to mediate ourselves. We're deciding what goes on the feed and what doesn't go on the feed. What is a representation of who we are and what isn't a representation? And that sense of editing um, is, is, and that sense of self-reflexivity um, and engagement with your social media, I feel is, is the condition that I'm trying to really hone in on with the work. And I, I think stylistically the most obvious thing here to note is that these aren't just you know, photorealistic interpretations of her photos. There's been a second step where you've drastically altered the original images to kind of make them a bit grotesque or, you know, she, she appears to be kind of melting here and there. Can you talk a bit about sure. uh, the technical process of what you did to the images? Yeah, so, so it starts off where I uh, use a liquefy effect and it's actually a tool that, that is used by the fashion industry to make people look skinnier or make people like Justin Bieber's dick bigger or their arms bigger or size a certain proportion or butts bigger whatever so um, I, t I, I push that to abstraction and oftentimes I'm using the tool to try to um, push impose an emotion into the picture that I think otherwise wasn't overt but for me it was always there so th there's for me this this uncomfortable aspect of, of holding a pose um, and posing in a way that is supposed to be natural so to me it's not so much about um, imposing a grotesque look on her, but rather um, expressing something that, that, that to me is, is existing within the images um, and, and, and altering the image to, uh, to, to make that clearer.